This is the top 10 times that LaMelo Ball made LeVar mad. Ball facts coming back at you again. Facts. Jello, ball facts. Jello might get buckets in that game. And we gon' get a facts. And that's facts. We all know Melo is a handful and LaVar is a handful too, so this is gonna be hilarious. Some of these clips, LaVar goes hard. But if you want your kids to be respectful, responsible, successful, you gotta go hard on them because that's part of love. So let's get to number 10. LaMelo Ball designing the MB1s and LaVar was getting frustrated. What size is it? 13s. Well, Melo's coming out on his birthday with his own signature shoe. The youngest player ever to have a signature shoe. What you like about it, Melo, and what you don't like? I kind of like this as a black. That color came out good, man. Do you like that color? Yeah. Do you want all black or mix up black? Mm. I mean, you can make it charcoal, like real dark, so it'd be some contrast. Dark charcoal? Dark charcoal. Yeah. Gotta speak up, son. I gotta open your mouth. Can't stare at the We gotta read your mind. What's that charcoal? Work. What's charcoal? You know what charcoal is? Black down there. It's damn near black, but it's not. You'll see a contrast. You know what charcoal is? Do I get to pick one? Yeah, you get to pick whatever yeah. the hell you want. Yeah. There's a timeline when you create these shoes, so we're skating on a on a fine line right there. You gotta have an idea of what you want, cause we don't know what the hell you want, so we're just creating a bunch of stuff, wasting time. What do you want? This. You don't have an idea of your own. <laughs> come on, Melo. Some people would love to design their shoe. And coming in number nine, big booty girls. This was pretty funny because he was feeling himself. Triple B's go for bling, bling, bling. <laughs> okay. Where go for it? Bling, bling, bling. <laughs> okay. Bling, bling, bling. bling. Oh. Big booty. No, no. See? See? What, what I tell you about what I, what I think is, no, that ain't got nothing to do with it. I'm just saying. Okay. I didn't cuss. That ain't got nothing yeah. to do with it. You can't do You're that. You're not listening, man. Give me a second. Come here. We're not talking about booty, bitches. You got to be smart. Hey, watch out, watch out. We're, we're not even dealing with that. You got to watch what you say, wild boy. Or you want to sit on the sideline. You shut me up for failure. Ooh, number eight. Tuck your jersey in. Tuck it in, please. The referee told Melo three times to put his shirt in. Ball got a technical foul called on. You were trying to move it off. Tuck your damn shirt in. You're dumb. Melo likes to play with his jersey out, and he hates tucking it in. It's always something, and he has to get over this. Melo hard in. Tuck it in, Melo. Oh, he makes it a big deal, but he has to understand it's something you got to do. Tuck the damn jersey in. Got Lamelo Ball driving, looking to put on a show. Smart. Be smart. Okay. Spins it around in the Melo Ball. Make him shoot. Mellow ball. No, dude, what's up, man? Nothing. Let me, let me talk to you for a second. God, son, you got to understand, when you're facing the league, you got to get out of that childhood, which is you're going to have to play with your damn shirt tucked in. We're getting a silly-ass technical because you're not tucking in your shirt. You're in a pro league. Everybody got to have his shirt in. You're not going to have to. I'm just saying, man, be smart about what you're doing. And you got to lose a game over some silly stuff. You're throwing your hand out like that, that's an offensive foul. So stop trying to be like you are the ultimate guy and play the game the right way. Do you understand? Right? Was it really that serious, LaMelo? Just keep your jersey tucked in. Coming in number seven, bad shot selection. Let's go to work! Melo pulling up from way on the sticker out here. He don't care. He, he's forgetting that it's NBA 3, so he's shooting 5, 10 feet behind that. Fade away. Oh, my goodness. Rebound! Rebound! Man, that's too damn far. Get closer. Unable to get it going from the outside. Man, Melo's deadly with those. He hasn't been hitting them. LA's night. I mean, they're just not getting anything from anybody. That's six fouls on the Melo ball. They cruise to a dominate victory over this Los Angeles ball squad. What's up, boy? You showered already? Yeah. Come here. Hey, man, you missed 23 shots. You can't, you're not even trying to make it. You're just throwing the ball. And you're shooting up 39 feet out there. That ain't going in at all. You missed 23 shots because you're taking bad-ass shots and eight turnovers. Turn the damn ball over too many times. You're not going to win. You're fouling out every game. You're doing dumb stuff. Number six, late for your own party. <laughs> all right, now we're in business. I have a couple things to take care of first before I come back. 
Rob, what, what, my, what are my other two boys? Oh, Mello and Jello. I don't know where them guys is at. Do you know where Mello is? No. I, I think they thinking it's old school, where it's just like, okay, my dad's throwing a barbecue, come when you want. What's up, Phil? Big G. Yeah, now you go out good today, huh? Mellow on his way back. He take out the windows tinted. He did what? Tinted his window. For what? What did I get the done back in LA somewhere? Seven, seven thirty then. Come here. Why is looking at me like that? <laughs> he wanted to beat me up. You want me to let him sit right here? Nah, he sit right here, man. You stay right there. I want you nice and comfortable. Sit hey, right here, son. So sit right there. Sit right there so I can talk to you. Grab right for me. No, this is better so I can see you clo a close up, man. Who told you to go get the windows tinted? You're not even going to have a car. I don't want the windows tinted. You don't want the windows tinted? It's hella clear. They don't. Dude. You're finna leave, so what are you worried about 10 windows for? Why you think we had to think on Tuesday because of you? We hold up the whole day for you. But you're being disrespectful, son, on the fact that you're thinking everybody rolling with you on, on, on your time limit, man. Are you making the right choices, you think? Yeah. What? Number five, playing selfish and sloppy. Jonah Fadim continues to get buckets. JBA squad down by 16 at the moment. Another ball turnover from this USA squad. Folks, that looks like it is the ball game. You, you know you game up, right? You know you did. We had 17 turnovers. I'm very disappointed in you. It's about the childish that you got me on a whole nother zone. i tell you his stats so you can see what the hell this is. Two for 10, 10 turnovers. I don't give a f you heard it, seen it, read it, or wrote it down yourself. I'm gonna say them out loud so your ass can hear them again. End of the third quarter, your ass got eight turnovers. That's what I'm about to say. You don't have no concept of how you're gonna start the game. The game should have been assists. You're not getting no good shots for people. You're worried about what you're doing. The first one, you launch a 40-footer. You terrible, son. I thought you was better than that, man. You think you're bigger than what you are, and you're not You're not a good leader, son. Because you're not focused on the game. You ain't getting nobody to the league playing like that. Your mind got to be super strong, and you're losing it right now. Because you're caught up in the hype. I'm going to tell you this. If you don't want to play basketball, you need to go do something else. He kept it 100% real with him. How many of you guys would do that with your kids? Number four, not coming ready. Mellow, let's go. <sighs> Don't start off slow. Let's go. Come on, Mellow, corner. Where do you have to go? Got no energy, no nothing. Don't sit there and play video games all night and you have a slow start in the game. You got enough fire to act a fool, sleep all day and play video games. But when it comes down to winning, you don't want to win. Because you're getting your ass blasted by 30 points. Oh, get that mellow. I knew you weren't going to win. Because the leader looking like he's sad, walking. Let me sleep. I tell you what, Melo, you can sleep the rest of the tournament if you want to, son. You ain't got to play. Here, hold the ball because you ain't used to it. And until you learn to be like your brother and play both ends, you're going to be sorry as hell. Ooh, LeVar wasn't playing. I felt the tension. Number three, playing too much. Oh, Uh -huh. And you just hit it again with the, the jet ski. I knew all that water was coming. <laughs> he splashed all the water on us. How do you want to start 17 off? 17? You wanna, yeah, you 17, right? Yeah. You want to start off with an ass whooping? No. Well, God dang it, what is it about when people tell you don't do something, you got to do it anyway? What you do is, they said don't whip the water onto the cameras. The cameras cost a lot of money. They're not waterproofed. And the fact that your dumb ass want to whip around and wet everybody on the boat, 
Oh, now you're messing up the cameras. You ain't just wetting the people. That's just stupid. So get out there, ride the jet ski, come on back. Dang, don't, don't let it happen again, son. That's the last one. I hope so. LeVar be hilarious when he be snapping on his kids sometimes. Okay, number two, communication and loyalty. Just had a talk with Melo. That's the last dude I thought was going to be like that. He being a hard ass right now, and it's going to cost him. You don't need me no more. I don't have to see him no more in life. Go on, do your own thing. That dude ain't right. He's not doing the right thing right now. He got too many folks in his ear. He thinking he's solo scene, but he going to see. Because like I said, I don't, I don't want to deal with him because I know what type of dude he is now. I do too much stuff, man, to be treated like this. F you. LaMelo does come in the end. Relax. I'll show you guys that. Number one, though. Pimp slap. <laughs> You're a selfish mother. You get tapped in the head. I told your ass. We cannot respond like that. You of all people. But you let me down. You, you, you. My brand. You my game. We don't win because your ass. Let's go. What you want to do? Son, I told your ass, I said, you getting on my bad last nerve because you're doing the wrong over and over and over. I thought you had my back. You don't care about nobody on the team. You don't care about winning. You care about yourself. And I'm supposed to be calm. You new guys, I brought you over here to block a shot. You over here looking, huh, huh. You might as well go back home. You're going to come over here, come over here and play. I thought y'all was hungry for a job. Ain't nobody getting no job playing like this. Ain't nobody getting no job, man. But I tell you what, I blame this, this, this loss right here, not on none of y'all. It's all y'all young and do your thing. I blame it on that raggedy right there. You changed the whole, that whole trip now. All these years I raised you, I thought you was with me the whole time. Do or die. You showed me right there, right there, son. Tell him, kill man. I don't see you being remorseful. I think you just roll your own beat. I don't care about the family like that. When I told you family is first. By you not going to school and not being around me, you're losing value. Who wants to come up to you now? What kid want to come up to you? Whole stadium booing you. Whole stadium booing you. Even though they had all these fights and they had these disagreements, I'm going to show you guys in the end where they, they always come together, where they make up because it is a son and a father relationship and there's going to be a little turmoil, but there's that always that leading and that guiding and much respect to LeVar for being there for his kids in so many capacities to the best of his ability. It's easy to criticize and say he could do this better or he could do it that way, but he's doing the best that he can do with the tools that he has and that's all we can ask. So LeVar, tell us, how do you feel about LaMelo taking all of this tough discipline? He took it. That's a cold dude. That's a cold dude. Because he's only human. But he's strong. He's strong. Very right, touch. Come in. Don't no, no. Okay? You got me? Me and you. You good? It's my man. But it's a freaking brother. And for all the people that missed my video where I had LaMelo come to the pop-up shop like he was the undertaker coming back from the dead, here you go. Come here for me. Man, I'm up, dog. Listen, I'll do anything for you. Anything. I feel like all night, all day. Yeah. See, guys, LeVar loves his kids. It's evident. You got to be blind not to see it. Matter of fact, Stevie Wonder can see it. Ray Charles, all them. You know, Helen Keller can see it. But, guys, this was the top 10 moments that LeVar had to discipline and get on LaMelo for acting crazy. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Go ahead, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to go to shopballfacts.com to get all of your merch. You know what I'm saying, guys. Get in that comment section. Hit that like button. Like, comment, subscribe. And hit that notification bell. But all facts again. Peace.